Occasionally I get requests from viewers that have watched something and they wanted to see a little more. And in this case, it was the JVC camera with the color viewfinder. Viewer wanted to see what type of viewfinder that was. So let's take it apart. A viewer asked what the technology was for this color viewfinder on this little camera. As you can see, it has a color screen and it's going to be an LCD screen for sure. But he was curious as to what they used to backlight it. Well, I can tell you right now, it's not a CRT with a LCD shutter in front of it, for sure. It's going to be a CCFL, for sure. 1994, that's what it's going to be. I wonder if I can get this thing apart without uh, having to take the whole camera apart. And we'll take a look at the what they use to uh, illuminate this uh, screen. I don't know if I can get a screwdriver in here or not. There's one screw in the back here that's that's hard to get at. I don't know if I can get in here or not. I might be able to pop this apart if I can get a screwdriver into, into there. But I'm sure that this is going to end up just being a CCFL like they all were. probably have to lift off the button plate on the top here in order to get that screw out here so we'll just lift this out of the way and try not to break it okay now I should be able to I guess I have to lift the LCD screen out take out these screws and then I can lift this piece out while not uh, disturbing the buttons and now I should be able to open it up back in just so it doesn't get damaged. Okay. Now I have enough slack that I can open up this last screw and then this viewfinder should pop apart and reveal what I think it is, which is going to be it. CCFL. Well, it seems like there's another screw holding it together, but there's not. And there it is. Can you guys see it? I'll turn it off so I don't get a shock. But um, it's pretty obvious what it is. It's a, it's a cold cathode fluorescent. This is the little power inverter for it. And there's a little tiny fluorescent tube which is plugged into that inverter board right down there. This is the video connector for the display. If we pop the display off, there is the little backlight right there. And if I pop this thing apart, if I undo this plug, we can take this entire viewfinder away. Okay, now if I undo this, we should be able to see the actual little, the little tube. Should be a little tube in here, a little tiny tube, or is it a back? Yeah, it's a little tube. You see? It's sealed. So this entire panel lights up, but it's not an electroluminescent. It's sealed. It's got gas in it. It's going to be a little fluorescent, a little flat fluorescent panel is what this is that lights up. That is it. And then the, 
the LCD panel sits in front of that. And now if this doesn't work again, and I have to throw it out, it's the viewer that requested to see the inside of its fault. It popped apart real easy, but going back together is not nearly as easy because I'm trying to fit this glass panel into an exact fitting. And if I apply too much force to it, I'm going to break it and break the vacuum and uh, then the, the entire display is shot. Then I might bring my hammer out and put it through the camera. Put the whole thing out of its misery because it certainly would not be repairable at that point. Hence why I didn't take this apart in the first place and I'm questioning my logic as to doing it now because someone asked to see it. There. That's back together. Whether it works or not, well that's another. That's, that'll have to wait and find out whether it'll work when I plug everything back in, but hopefully it will work. And the early, the earliest uh, else are the earliest color viewfinders. Incidentally, were not a um, LCD. Oh, I put that in backwards. <laughs> Got to turn it around. The earliest LCDs were not. By the way, um, are the earliest color viewfinders were not an LCD. Or in front of the CRT. The earliest were um, index tubes, beam index tubes. And they were used by Hitachi and RCA. It's a single gun. Uh, Sony called them Indexatron, but uh, the Indextron, Sony never used them. It's color viewfinders. Sony went right to LCD and OLED. Yeah, that's got to go in the other way. Didn't seem like it came out this way though, but I guess it did. Because it's it's keyed. Right? The little circuit board here only goes in one way. It's got a notch in one corner. I've actually got a little viewfinder uh, tube, a, a, a beam index tube from an RCA uh, color camera but the thing is the guy that sent it to me took it all apart and he uh, he lost the little sensor board that the little color filters were on and he lost the color filters so there's no way to make it work because of that it needs those it needs those sensors without the sensors it, there's no way for it to operate so it's kind of a lost cause. I've got the box still and I can turn it on and make a black and white picture but no way to synchronize any color off of it. Let's just see if this thing works now. And we have a picture on it still so I have a working viewfinder so I can put this back together. As I say, I do intend to try to sell this camera at some point to somebody. It's not worth much, but I do intend to try to sell it, so I kind of like it to be fully functional. 
Now there's probably dust in the probably dust in the viewfinder. Oh well. That I can't do much about. In other words, whoever buys it will have to deal with the dust. As you can probably see if I kill some lights here, the viewfinder is working. When I put the little magnifier back on it, take a look through here. Oh, it looks fine. Yeah, the viewfinder itself looks okay. If I can zoom the camera in so you guys can see it, it, it seems to work okay. Yeah, it's hard to see with the lights all reflecting. Let's try that. There's some surface dust on the surface here that uh, I can probably wipe out with a dusty Q-tip. Anyway, it's uh, as you can see, it works. Other than some dust in the front here, which will which will clean out. When the eyepiece is on, you really don't notice it anyway because. Uh, it's out of focus. Anyway, that's the viewfinder. It's back together. So, for those that just had to know what type of viewfinder it is, it's an LCD. It has a flat type fluorescent panel on it. We know it's a CCFL, not a fluorescent tube, a flat panel. And basically, works very similar, but they're creating a discharge across the, the plane itself. There'd be an electrode on each end and they would create a discharge across there and it produced the ultraviolet light that lights up the phosphorus panel on the backside. It's like a little glow panel, but it is a fluorescent. We know that because it's got that seal on it. Electroluminescent panels wouldn't have that. They would just have two transparent electrodes with a phosphorus sandwich between them. This works like a little plasma screen. Now here's what I've got coming up for the next couple of episodes. I just picked these two little sets up. Don't know if they work or not. We're going to make them work if they don't. I've got a little candle. This is a 5 inch color. I actually had one of these TVs years and years ago. don't remember the exact year of it. It would be early, early 80s I'm thinking. I don't know if it says when this one was manufactured. Ah yes, June 1980. I know you could put rechargeable batteries in it. I don't know, I'm just looking to see if there's a year of power cords in here. Does it say? It was a special, um, a special battery pack. It was a lead acid battery. Or you could put 10 D cells in it. Or a lead acid battery pack. Um, I'm trying to remember what year this set was, 1980, 81, maybe. I had one for many years, used to take it camping, and my mother used to watch it. She had it in her kitchen when I wasn't using it. Had it for a while in my room when I was inside. I bought it. It was the first little TV I ever bought myself. Uh, my mother ended up condemn or, or, or commandeering it to watch talk shows in the kitchen. This thing ran for forever and it went, the reason it went in the garbage is that the picture tube finally failed on it. So this is something to work on and then I've also got this other little set here. This one here is a black and white set and it features a radio and a cassette recorder. And of course analog TV so we'll have to feed it with a signal. This one here also could run off a rechargeable battery or probably D cells, nine D cells. This is 1982, so this one's, this one's 40 years old. I think the other one is probably about the same, 81, 82, somewhere in there. Anyway, these are going to be coming up as uh, future videos, and we'll play around with these and see if we can get them to work. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.